Welcome back, folks. In the last episode, I think I had an idea where we can use um, this motorcycle magazine. Amy Joey told us that he Would has you swap a ticket for this magazine for motorcycles. You mean it? Of course I will. It's the T.E. Lawrence Collector's Issue. I've been looking for that for years. And now we have a... No, we don't. Uh... It doesn't... And now we have a ticket. Give me an analysis, Joey. It's made of recycled paper. Interesting. So now we have a ticket for the economy tour, I think it was. Maybe I can interest Mr. Man, Mr. Anchor here, in a ticket. Never mind. Here, have a present. You're joking, yeah? Hmm. Apparently he doesn't like our present. Maybe he would like his anchor being well. Try cutting that anchor again, Joey. I camp with that guy watching, yeah? Yeah? Now he starts to talk like Mr. Anchor here. Okay. Never mind. Let's... Uh... Explore Thor. This man would like it. a ticket. What would you trade for this ticket? That's a tour ticket, isn't it? Link doesn't approve of travel, you know. And besides, that's an economy class ticket. Okay, maybe someone else is interested in our ticket. I wouldn't bear my bum if it looked like that. Those breasts are never natural. <laughs> Bet those muscles are artificially developed. A nose like that would be great for tracking. It looks like the plants in the gap. An illustrated brochure. Let's take it. Good grief, it's positively pornographic. Naked people with extra parts. Mm. The things folk do for fashion. Do you think I need a doctor, Joey? We could both use an overhaul. Are you going to get a new body? There's nothing wrong with this one. Hmm. <laughs> Let's uh, check out this projector. Welcome to Burke's Biosurgery. How may I help you? What services do you provide? What services do you provide? A complete range of fascia. From personal piercing mm. to cosmetic transplants. Okay, let's talk to her again. Do people have ops to be fashionable? Certainly. Can you think of a better reason? What about medical purposes? Our clients are rich enough not to need medical treatment. Would you let me for a fashion op? 
Would you let me in for a fashion op? Do you have an appointment? No, I don't. Too bad. You should have booked. Yeah, I think I should. I'm just looking. Thanks. Please take one of our brochures. Maybe we can just enter anyway. It's as immovable as a stain on my conscience. Let's talk to Joey. Never mind. Okay. Let's not talk to Joey. Maybe. Hmm. An illust. I think we should leave for now. Never mind. Still, it's completely useless. Maybe let's go back to um our place. Maybe we can talk to Mr. Gallagher here again. Sorry to disturb you. Apparently not. Okay. Wait a minute, I saw something there. Um, so something... Hmm. Apparently, there's nothing. Okay. Um, not sure where I, what I'm supposed to do next. Um, I think I could talk to Mr. Lamb. Hey, Lamb! Maybe he's interested interested in our tickets. Hello, supervisor. Oh, it's you. I didn't expect to meet you here. How did you gain access to this level? I took the elevator, same as you. You're not following me, are you? I've got better things to do with my time. Bet you're wondering who fixed the elevator. Whoever it was, he gets my thanks. Actually, it was me. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? You can't pull the wool over my eyes. I thought you'd be grateful. Gratitude is for folk who accept charity, lad. I've no time for sponges and scroungers. Apparently not. Hey, Lamb. Is this where you live? Yes, this is Bellevue. Very... nice. Living here makes my job more bearable. But how I wish I could get away sometimes. Mm. What I need is a holiday. A break from all this managerial responsibility. I'm wondering if, Never he, mind. if he would be willing to trade anything useful for it. Let's find out. Hey, Lamb. Would you like this ticket? What's it for, lad? A tour. Wouldn't you like a holiday? You're right. I really deserve a break. You know, I'm so touched. I'm going to give you something in return. I was kind of hoping you might. Something you'll look back on for the rest of your life. What would that might be? Yeah? Hi, lad. A tour of my factory. Oh. Oh, great. Meet me there. You're in for a treat. How can I ever thank you, Mr. Lamb? You're so kind. Not. Come on, Joey.
do 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 Let's wait for Mr. Lamb to arrive. Assuming that he actually will um will go to his factory now. Maybe he won't. Maybe I'm just I'm about to waste some more minutes of this left flight. Excuse me. I probably am wasting time. But never mind. Maybe he minds if I look around. Mind if I look around? Since you're a friend of Lamb's, you can go where you like. But I'd stay clear of the reactor if I was you. Unless you're wearing some protection. Hmm. Important hint here. Okay, apparently... Hey! Will not... I told you not to go in there! Uh... Didn't he just say that it was okay for us to look around? Excuse me. Never mind. Hmm, strange. I hope I did don't didn't break the game here. Um Yeah. Never Ah, now Mr. Lamb has hey, arrived. Hey, Lamb. When do I get the tour you promised me? Well, there's no time like the present. We'll start right now. Now, take a look at this machine. It's broken. This machine measures the internal bore of the pipes. Accurate to 20 decimal places, whatever that means. <laughs> Impressive, isn't it? All those numbers. I'm sure they mean something. Yeah, I bet they do. Follow me. I'll show you the next section. At 20 decimal places, that's quite impressive, actually. I wonder... Why do you need types of that accuracy? Hmm. This machine is supposed to drive the conveyor, but it's not bloody working. Heads will roll for this. Foreman Potts, why is this machine stopped? Stopped? I've been so busy I didn't notice. <laughs> Can't I trust you with anything? Look after my guest pots. I'll have to leave you to show yourself around. Oh, thank you, Mr. Lamp. You're so kind. Asshole. Okay, now Mr. This guy has a name. Maybe now Excuse Mr. Potts me. will let us see the reactor. Never mind. Let's find out. Okay, now we actually do get to enter this area. And we can open these lockers. And there's nothing in them. We can talk to the girl. What are you doing now? Checking for cracks with x-rays. You shouldn't be here without a protective suit. You're not wearing one. Lamb told me I didn't qualify. As I'm a D-Link, and a woman. Yeah, we'll continue um, this discussion when we come back. When you come back, folks. So until next time, folks. Until then.